Okay, in the previous class, I just started the RNA world and uh, DNA versus RNA also you studied and where RNA is first or DNA is first, where the question was asked. Literally we say RNA is a first and then our DNA is evolved only from the RNA and then in the future DNA begin to produce RNA by the process called the transcription that all you studied in the what, online classes. Okay. Now, in this RNA world, how the RNA synthesis taken place and how the transcription process carried by the DNA that all you are going to study. But before that, you have to study about the here, the DNA replication. You have to study about the DNA replication. Here, what is a DNA replication? So, DNA replication means a duplication. A replication means a duplication. What is a duplication? So, duplication means a division. How the cell divide? In the same way, the DNA also will divide and increase its number. One DNA into two, two into four, four into eight, like this. It also increase its what number. It also what increase its what number. So, thereby, DNA also what here divide and carry the process called the DNA synthesis. The process called as what? The DNA synthesis. And that process is also called the DNA replication. So when does the DNA replication take place? When the DNA synthesis process take place? That all you studied in the cell division. Cell division you studied already. The cell division, so during which the two main phases are there. That is one is called as the M phase and another one is called the interface. First is the interface and in the interface there are three main subphases are there and the three main subphases in with G1 phase, S phase and the G2 phase. Particularly in the S phase, particularly in what? The S phase, here the synthesis of DNA that is taken place and during this it what replicate itself and increase the copy number and thereby it can increase its genetic number, the DNA number and during the division of cell, during the division of cell, it can what equally share its content to the daughter cell. So in other words, before the cell division, it also divide and what share to the what daughter cell. So that is why DNA synthesis is very important and this DNA synthesis also again proposed by the Watson and Crick soon after the duplex model of the DNA. Soon after the, the duplex model of the DNA and according to them here DNA also what here what the, see this is a DNA you have already studied. Structure of DNA you have already studied. This is a double standard uh, structure of DNA and during here what the replication during replication, DNA molecule undergone for the unwinding. DNA molecule undergone for the unwinding. And the same DNA molecule, what its unwinding taken place. And unwinding taken place in a such a way that its all the hydrogen bond get separate. All the hydrogen bond get separate and convert into single standard structure. And convert into single standard structure like you see. Single standard structure. So now, at a particular portion, becomes single standard structure and very quickly, the separated single standard structure undergone for the polymerization process. Polymerization means, you see, if we put here is a A and here is a P and then here is a G, it is a C like this. Here the hydrogen bond is separated between the two uh, what nitrogen bases and when the separation takes place very quickly, the polymerization means the new Bases brought to the newly formed, uh, sorry, the single standard structure, new what bases bring. So means uh, here has to bring A and then here has to bring J C. So like this, here the new strand synthesis taking place very quickly. And in this way, here what the two daughter DNAs are formed. See, these are the daughter DNA. Two daughter DNA. This is one and this is one. Two daughter DNA and such 
two daughter DNA in image, see, such a two daughter in the image. So, one is a newly formed DNA. See, this is one is a newly formed DNA strand. This is a newly formed DNA strand, and another one is old. One is a newly formed, and another one is a old. That is already you studied in the online class also. So, one is old and one is a new, and that is why this process of DNA replication is called as semi conservative. Semi-conservative process of DNA application. Semi-conservative. Semi why it is called as semi-conservative? One of the most questions we can about why it is called as a semi-conservative process of DNA application. So because in what the here DNA replication, the what the daughter DNA having one old strand and one newly synthesized strand is conserved and that is why it is called as a semi-conservative DNA replication and this is semi-conservative DNA replication what first time shown by what Watson and Crick soon after the what the discovery of the duplex model of DNA and later the experimentally the experimentally also proved by some other scientist and the name of the scientist is Messelson and Starr Matthew Messelson and Franklin Stahl gave the experimental proof for the DNA what replication and that to be semi-conservative. That to be semi-conservative. Semi-conservative for the DNA replication experimentally proved by the Messelson and Stahl. Messelson and Stahl. Messelson and Stahl first time proved the, ex uh, what, uh, the semi conservative DNA replication by giving some kind of experiment, and particularly what uh, the Watson and Crick proposed this one. Watson and Crick proposed this one. See, in that experiment, what they did is experimental proof in which what they did is uh, first of all, they grown, first of all, they grown here the E. coli bacteria. E. coli bacteria in what here the 15 NH4 CL and 15 N is here the heavy isotope and this is the only nitrogen here for the remain for the many generation it is a natural what the nitrogen present in what here nature one and it will be remain for the many generation 15 NH4 CL and this is a heavy isotope. This is heavy isotope. Normal, uh, normal nitrogen is a 14 N. Normal nitrogen is a 14 N, but this is a 15 N. Is a heavy isotope, and when E. coli grown in, E. coli grown in 15 NH4 Cl. Sorry, I calculate. E. coli grown in 15 NH4 Cl. E. coli means E. coli containing naked DNA that is you know there is no nuclear envelope etc. and it is a prokaryote that is why the naked DNA containing E. coli grown in 15 NH4 Cl that is a heavy isotope and what here in E. coli or in the DNA the replication takes place and here the, the DNA heavy DNA are synthesized in the what? The, during the generation, during the division in what E. coli bacteria it is observed here the synthesis of the heavy DNA heavy DNA containing what uh, these components are synthesized and that can be clearly identified by using here what? the centrifugation process by using CCL, CCM, CCM chloride density gradient, sorry I call it when the NH4, 15 NH4 Cl in which E. coli is grown and here the 15 N is incorporated into DNA that is what 15 N incorporated into DNA of the E. coli and that can be, that could be easily observed by process called the centrifugation although 14 N, 15 N, is the number of separate model that can be done by centrifugation process using CCM chloride, CCM chloride density gradient process. If E type and you can see both the type of DNA and see that uh, E. coli 
divide every 20 minutes once and so thereafter the two DNAs are formed. One DNA is converted to two DNA and the two DNA in the way, see one containing strand 14, another strand containing 15. Why? Because we have grown this DNA in 15 NH per cell. That is why 15 NH is incorporated into DNA and that is why one heavy DNA and one normal DNA containing you can see and that is called the hybrid. See here gravitational force means the centrifugation force. So by using cesium chloride in the torso, the stubble like centrifugation process might the torso directly. So that is why here we can see 14 N and 15 and both and there is a combination. One strand is 14, one strand is 15 and there is a hybrid and after the 15 minutes now another result is known, another result, the same result. So two DNA are again undergoing for the next generation. So this is the first generation. This is the first generation and this is the second generation. And if it is observed, the second generation. In the second generation, both the DNA divide and use after 40 minutes four DNA. Now four DNA. And the four DNA in which you see, the one is a 14, another one is a 15. One is a 14 and a DNA, another one is a 15 DNA. See, here in the 15 DNA strands are there and here is also 14 DNA strands are there. So, means one type of 50-50% here line 14N, 14N, 20. Here are 14 and 14 and DNA containing the strand and this one is the 15 DNA containing strand. So, I mean it is a, one 14 is also there, another one is a, oh, what, the 15 is also there here. One 14 is also there, one 15 is also there. So, this one is a. So, in this way, I am not labeled that. So, 14 and 15 and 14 and 15 and alternate. So, means the hybrid is also there. And one is a light. So, means here, what is the light DNA and the hybrid DNA both appear after the what? The second generation. So, means here, the DNA strand here formed. One is old, another one is a new. The old, new, old, new. So, like this, here the daughter DNAs are formed. And that, what is process is called the semi conservative process. Similar experiments, similar experiments are also made by many other scientists uh, in the di different organism and they also have got almost the same result. They also have got the what? Almost the same result from the what, uh, what uh, the Stalin uh, Messelson experiment, what uh, they have got the result. Similar kind of result also they got. So this exactly means that in all the living being, in all the living being, during the DNA synthesis, one old strand and another one is a new strand is conserved and that is why it is called a semi-conservative and for this semi-conservative process of DNA replication experimentally the what a, experiment designed by what the muscles and the star this is the experiment and maybe it is asked for the 5 mass question remember and you have to draw the diagram as well it is asked once one or two time it is asked you have to draw the diagram also this is not required this is a semi-conservative only, but this much like uh, you have to compare it. So, talk. so this is about the experimental proof for the semi conservative process. Now, next one is how exactly the DNA replication takes place. DNA replication. How exactly the DNA replication takes place? See, DNA replication taken place during the one here, the interface and particularly during the S phase that is you already come to know. And this what S phase is a very crucial period during which any cell, any organism, genetic material is duplicated. And the duplicated genetic material in which share to the daughter cell. You understand what I am telling you. And thereby DNA synthesis play a very important role. One. Then DNA synthesis is also important for the next further synthesis of the protein also. That we will study later. Protein synthesis. Okay. How exactly DNA replication taken place? See, this is the about one double standard DNA structure. This is one double standard DNA structure. And this double standard DNA structure, huh? one complete double standard DNA structure is there. See. And this double standard DNA structure to replicate. One important enzyme is required and that enzyme is called as DNA dependent DNA dependent DNA polymerase The DNA dependent DNA polymerase See, DNA dependent DNA polymerase and this is 
the enzyme very essential and it uh, what uh, carry the high rate of accuracy of the polymerization particularly polymerase what is a polymerization so polymerization means uh, during the what uh, replication it bring a new and new what bases to the new what old strand and thereby it help in the formation of the new strand okay so then and uh, remember in uh, what uh, bacteria in bacteria or e coli here what the process of dna replication uh, completes within uh, what 38 minutes generally we say the half an hour within a half an hour the dna replication completes but uh, scientifically if it is uh, counted the number of bases and uh, number of uh, uh, number of bases and time required for the completion of the dna replication according to our science it require 38 minutes so because here what in e coli the total number of base pair present is 4.6 to 10 raised to 6 bp 4.6 into 10 raised to 6 bp compared to human being it is 6.6 into 10 raised to 9 bp and it requires 38 minutes to complete the polymerization 38 minutes to complete the polymerization but however in human being it may be very late because in human being every 24 hours once a division of the cell takes place but in the bacteria is a very very quick process and within the what 30 40 minutes within 30 to 40 minutes the, the process of what uh, here uh, uh, division completes means within uh, that time the replication should complete you just imagine within 4.0 uh, sorry 4.6 into 10 raised to 6 base pair bp means what number of uh, nucleotide present in them within that time for 38 minutes only complete up and average time taken to what to complete the process is a 38 minute and per second remember just high rate accuracy only in a bacteria in a e coli per second 2000 base pairs polymerize 2000 bp per second polymerize in that rate you just imagine dna dependent dna polymerase in what way it carry polymerization not only it has to what carry the high rate of the what uh, reaction and at the same time it has to maintain the accuracy also accuracy any mistake any mistake in the polymerization any mistake in the polymerization and that may be result in the mutation that may result in what the mutation so that is why accuracy is also important so now i coming back to the dna replication see during the dna replication here entire length of the dna not undergoing for the what um, unwinding entire length is not undergoing for the unwinding and particularly where the replication has to start where replication has to start for example i will point out here where replication has to start is this is called replication fork replication fork origin of replication come on replication fork from this point see from this point they what begin to unwind iga illa inda unwind ag start sir from this point they begin to unwind from this point they begin to unwind so like this here the pairing d double bond d like this pairing is there and here is also the pairing is there and this is called the replication fork where the origin of replication origin of replication and for that all diff different type of various what here enzyme involved like this topoisomerase dna what a helicase dna ligase so many enzymes are there helicase topoisomerase many enzymes involved in this unwinding process dna unwinding dna topoisomerase dna helicase many enzymes but all that enzyme is not here given in your book but remember the unwinding process is uh, taken place so means here you just imagine here is the a and here should be t and if it is here g and here should be uh, c so like this uh, it is a t and here a so like this no now separated hydrogen bonds are broken now the dna dependent dna polymerase dna dependent what the dna polymerase now start the process of polymerization the process of polymerization 
always in the direction called phi u prime to 3 prime. Always in the direction of what? The phi u prime to 3 prime. For example, this is a phi u prime, this is 3, and here, and this is 3, and this is 5. Now, so like this, uh, the position is given phi u prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to 5 prime. See, now polymerization. Polymerization and then you get separate I want the protein to separate I want the protein to see C, K, G, A, P, C, G. So if it is a T, then G, then T, then C, then T, and then A, and then C, like this. So now separated and separated each strand have what the polymerization has to carry. This strand is a Hossa strand. So, Hossa strand is a Hossa strand. So, this is 5 dash to 3 dash. So, here it is going like this 5 dash to 3 dash. 5 dash to 3 dash. This is 5 dash to 3 dash. So, again, it is a T, then C, then A, then G, then again T, then again C, then T, and then A, and then C. And then C. So like this, new strand is formed, correct? And in other region, other region also the take but this is in the this direction, and that is to be in 5 dash to 3 dash direction. See, 5 dash to 3 dash direction. But this what is taken place is not in a continuous strand, continuous, uh, continuous strand. This is 5 dash now, continuous strand, and that gives a little gap and then start, little gap and then start. Of course. It is here also A, the G, and then T. So like this is a. But the thing is that when from here the polymerization start and that gives one complete and continuous strand, and from where the primer start and from this region it gives discontinuous strand. So that is why it gives the two type of here. The, this is a continuous. This is what the continuous synthesis of a continuous strand, continuous strand, and this one is discontinuous strand. This is discontinuous strand. So in this way, here the two strand, one is lagging, one is what the leading strand. This is also called the continuous strand is also called as leading strand, leading strand, and this is also called as lagging strand. This is also called as the lagging strand. This is also called the lagging strand. So means uh, lagging means a uh, little bit gap, gap, gap. And here leading means it is a continuous strand is formation. And remember the exam also you have to draw like this only, you have to write uh, like this only. So you need not require to show what uh, the, the base pairs that is what I have shown. You can uh, show simply the diagram like this only. You can show simply a diagram like this only. And so that should be so like this arrow mark you have to show and here is also you need not require to show any base pairs and you can show like this the arrow mark and very soon once if a discontinuous uh, or lagging strand reach into the 3 dash region and very quickly one important enzyme and that enzyme called DNA ligase that enzyme called what? the DNA ligase what help in what join all the gaps and so thereby it also becomes once again a continuous strand. In the beginning only they look like a gap and once a DNA ligase fill the wherever the gap surface are there that all it is joined and that also make an about continuous strand. So thereby very soon this is separated from the what? This and thereby two strands are formed. Two daughter strands are formed. Two data strands are formed, and so far two data strands, and so they are newly synthesized. In which one is old. See, this is an old strand, and this is one is a new. So, and this is also new, and this is old. So, this is old, and this is new, and this is old, and this is new. So, like this, in the every what a DNA, there is a one old strand, and another one new strand is formation taking place, and that is why. The Watson and Crick it is called as semi-conservative method of DNA replication, and that is also further followed by all the ages of the scientists. And for that, uh, Marshall and Stahl also 
what uh, gave and a conclude uh, conclusive experimental proof for the same and uh, then after what uh, other scientists studied uh, the dna replication they also gave the same statement regarding the so this so in this way so dna replication process taken place is in a high rate of accuracy a very speed process and that has to be what uh, uh, carry in a uh, very very accurate uh, uh, formation no? and in a proper straight wave um, uh, processor reaction processor that should not alter the any changes if it is a, any alteration any basis mistake anything is if it is happen and definitely and that may be result in the mutation and that that to be just imagine the bacteria what i am telling you here 2000 base pair fixing and right? 2000 base pairs of 1 2 3 4 5 like this like a double bond d c double c double triple bond g t double bond a so that none of those first and like out in the second 2000 bp base pair this is base pair c a double bond t t double bond a and the connection over the polymerization process and that polymerization has to be carried in one oh, very very fast see just imagine one second of the rest of the time of the new just imagine one second not one minute in one second 2000 bp is not a joke and any computer or any machine can't do and that type of machinery is present in our body can you imagine you can you imagine just imagine the dna polymerase work out in such a way that dna dna dependent dna polymerase and that work in a such a and a high rate of accuracy that is also maintained and so thereby about 2000 bp in here what bacteria then you just imagine in other organism and human being what is that of course in a human being it may be a little bit slow because in human being the lifespan is more no in human being the lifespan 100 years sir but in bacteria only 20 minutes to 30 minutes lifespan one bacteria divided into two now, so means the lifespan is very short, so means the rate of what the reaction is also very fast and quick process, accuracy could have stayed there. But however, in human being, 24 hours once the cell divide, so means all the, uh, what, uh, the content it uh, arrange and then slowly the process uh, it may takes uh, carry. But uh, however, in some uh, unicellular organism like prokaryote and some uh, unicellular eukaryote, the rate of uh, what, uh, air polymerization is very very uh, fast. So this is about the, the process of uh, the DNA replication and after the DNA replication and that follows the next one is here the transcription. Transcription process. What is a transcription? You know, so transcription means it is a process of formation of RNA from the DNA. Now, after the DNA replication, after the DNA replication, start what? The protein synthesis. It is another major process that taken place in our body, not in our body, in all the living organism. Very essential very important process and without which our body not never never will complete the any process and the transcription is the first the step of what here protein synthesis or gene expression protein synthesis or what gene expression and so that is all transcription the gene expression what it means where does it take place how does it take place what is uh, the importance uh, that all you have to study in this uh, chapter only and uh, uh, so thereby so transcription is a beginning process and that to be it is a taken place in the what the cell it is cell the letter of the and so it is a beginning process of gene expression there are two processes are there for the gene expression one is a what a transcription and another one is a translation for a transcription what and what uh, the enzyme which are the raw material and uh, where does it take place when it does it take place that all you have to study and that will complete uh, i mean uh, uh, study the uh, okay so next classes uh, okay so uh, first uh, you try to know the basic things of the the dna replication and its uh, importance also okay so next class will continue